Fossils are not necessary nowadays to demonstrate the, the fact of evolution. We could do that on purely comparative evidence, especially biochemical, molecular evidence. But fossils are very nice for showing the, the actual history of life, the actual history that evolution took. Fossils are the only direct evidence we have of what animals were like in the distant past. If we needed any more evidence, then fossils of creatures like whales would be very powerful. But as it happens, the fossil record for whales is very strong. We now know that closest cousins to whales are actually hippos, oddly enough. Everyone wouldn't have thought that, but they are. Um, and so something, it wouldn't have been like a hippo, but it would have been something like a sort of common ancestor of a hippo and a whale. Took to the water, I suppose a bit like hippos do, and then gradually became more and more wedded to the water until finally they never left the water as whales don't. The fossil record is now very good, mostly from fossils in Pakistan, especially uh, recently discovered ones. It's a beautiful series where the hind limbs gradually disappear. I mean, the ancestors, of course, galloped along on, on four legs and then the hind limbs gradually disappeared. Now there's a tiny vestige of hind limb uh, skeleton buried deep inside the, the whale, which, I mean, what else could that be? But evidence for the evolution of whales as marine animals from land animals. There's not the slightest doubt that marine whales are descended from uh, land animals, and the fossil record proves it utterly.